Hey Taurus, how is my earth sign doing? Welcome, it's Mags with White Buffalo Divine and guess what time it is? Love reading time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Come on into my home, have a seat. Let's talk, okay? We're gonna get real. Couple of things, just some housekeeping things I wanna let you know. We're doing it a little bit different this month. I've got my laptop next to me playing some music on a random playlist. I'm gonna be listening for lyrics as we go through, uh, feeling that some of those messages may come through in pertinence with this reading. This is a love reading. It will not resonate with everybody. It is a generalized love reading. Could be talking to a cross watcher possibly. Um, and this is for anyone who could be married in a commitment, recently divorced or in separation, someone who's just gone through a breakup or a complete heartbreak, single, not dating anybody or single and kind of playing the field. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Um, I have, as always, cleared my energy, cleared these cards, energies, crystallized, sage, you know, the works. That's how it goes. And just so you know, Moving forward, um, whoever Zodiac sign has the most views on their love reading the month prior will get their next month's video posted two days prior to all the other Zodiac signs. Sorry to tell you, but you got beat out by one of your fellow Earth signs. Capricorn had 7,000 views on my first video launch. I'm so excited. I know you're not, but that's good news for me, okay? So let's get started. Taurus, my lovely bull. Oh, I just love Taurus. I'm a Taurus moon. It's a secret side that I don't show very many people, and that's one of my, my gifts. Okay, what do we got for Taurus? Yes, two of pentacles coming in. Love, September 2019 for Taurus. What do we got? Taurus has options. Oh, okay, Taurus. I see you. Taurus loves September 2019. Yeah, but there's been a recent heartbreak. You either you broke someone's heart or someone broke your heart recently. You've been up at night, really losing sleep about it. Could be a third party situation. Either you're in love with someone else and you just broke someone's heart or you're about to or vice versa. I feel heavy third party situation. Why? Because there's been options. There's been a new option on the table for you in the last month or something to that magnitude. I'm feeling that heavy and you're wanting a new beginning. You're ready for a new chapter or something. We're going to go. We're going to go deeper. Hold on. Hold on, Taurus. Taurus loves September 2019. We got cards flying. Yeah, look at that anxiety. Look at that anxiety. Okay, nine of wands. Yeah, we got nine, 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 nine. Look at all these nines. Look at this. Completion of a cycle almost there. There's a there's a reboot. There's a there's a completion to a cycle coming in. We got the nine of cups. Someone's drinking a lot. Could be you. Is that you, Taurus? You drinking a little bit more than normal? Are you going through a heartbreak that's causing that? And this doesn't necessarily have to be um, love life heartbreak. There could be some other type of heartbreak going on in your life. Again, this is a love reading. That is a heart. Could be third party situation. I'm just saying there's something going on. Um, anxiety up at night. 999 nine, nine on the situation. Look for synchronicities for 999 nine, nine, anywhere. There, if every time you see that, that means you're in alignment and things are happening at the exact divine timing they're supposed to be happening. That's what that means with numerology, at least for me and my book. Okay, let's go deeper. Taurus, love, September 2019. What are the messages, please? You're making a decision on someone. Possible fire sign. I've got two wand cards here. Seven of wands. Ooh, hold on. Taurus, love, September 2019. What are the messages? Ooh, drop it on the floor. Someone poured their heart out to you. I've missed your calls for months, it seems. Don't realize how mean that I can be. Those are the lyrics I just heard. You've been, um, <clears throat> there's a female that's been losing sleep. A feminine energy has been losing sleep. She poured her heart out to you. She was a part of a third party situation or there was something, the, the blindfolds were pulled off on this. I, I'm gonna get clarification on this. Could be someone that has water in their chart, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I'm also seeing fire sign. Hold on. Let's go deeper. 
Messages, September 2019, love. Nope. Oh, yeah, that fell out. There you are, Taurus. You're in your own reading. Higher font come out. Okay. Clarify. <laughs> yeah. You packed up and left someone. You're wanting to leave a situation. That's why there's heartbreak. You Either you're breaking someone's heart or vice versa. Someone's broken your heart. They've left you recently. You feel betrayed. <clears throat> My throat's starting to... Um, hold on. Hold on, Taurus. I'm going to get one more. One more message, Taurus. We got two cards on that. Three cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've blocked somebody out that poured their heart out to you. Okay. Two of swords. Caused a death. You're either going through a death. There's been a death of some sort with a possible loved one or transformation. I said something about someone with a water in their chart. This is a Scorpio card. Transformation represents Scorpio. So someone who may have Scorpio um, sun, moon, rising, possibly that you, they poured their heart out to you and they got unrequited love, maybe something like that. But I... Someone will love you, but that someone isn't me. That's what the song just said. You broke someone's heart, Taurus. Because you're moving towards somebody else. King of Pen or Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving energy in the deck, but it's a stable offer. You are getting grounded with your love life. You're really moving slow because you don't want to get your heart broken again, but you've just broken someone else's heart because you've moved away from whatever was causing any type of turmoil, something that didn't serve you in its highest good, something to that magnitude. And I feel this is your energy or... Um, I feel this is your energy, Taurus, because you're in your own reading here. And this card popped out. These popped out right next to each other. Okay? Transformations and change can be scary, but they're also necessary to move in the right direction and get grounded. Okay? We're going to clarify. Let's get some clarification for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. <laughs> Ten of water. What I tell you about the there's somebody with Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in their chart that I feel there was unrequited love. Bass nectar butterfly just came on. Transformation. Butterflies represent transformation. What I tell you. You're using your intuition finally. That's why you left this other person. That's why. Something to that magnitude. You're using your intuition. You're finally coming into it. You haven't been using it. It's been punching you in the face almost, too, I feel like. Um, clarify the Three of Swords, please. Tell me about this third-party situation. Who are the Who's involved? Clarify the Three of Swords, please, for Taurus, September Love, 2019. Yeah. Water sign again. Definite water sign involved. Let's talk. Three, third party situation. I feel you broke the water sign's heart. You felt you were being played like a puppet. They they wanted to make you their puppet? I don't know where I'm getting that from. Uh, super emotional. You didn't feel they were stable enough. I'm, I don't know where I'm getting this. I don't know. Let's talk. Who else is involved? Who else is involved? Three of three of swords. Who else is involved? Third party situation. Fire sign. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? There's a fire sign you got your eyes on. I've got two cards of wands on here. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is a fire sign you got your eyes on. They're passionate and they're... They're bringing something out in you that's making you want to transform and get rid of these burdens. There's something about your inner power and getting stable. And this person's kind of helping you through that process. So, and that's what I said. I said, clarify. Look at these two cards. Okay. I could be talking to a masculine Taurus here. 
pay attention. Three of Swords. Clarify the, the Three of Swords. Two feminine energies on these cards. Water sign, fire sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Leo, Aries, Sag. You're going after the fire sign. Right here. Eye on the target. Look at that. You are sure of it. You're finally coming into your own and you are being strategic with your approach. What do the angels have to say about this transformation that you are going through? This is your transformation, Taurus. You've gone through a heavy transformation. What do the angels have to say with regard to this connection with this third party situation? Inner power. What I tell you, you're coming into it. You are absolutely coming into it. The song is Butterfly on that's playing right now. Look at the wings. Eleven eleven on the timestamp. September twenty nineteen, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. So um where to go? I'm losing my cards. I'm losing my cards. Where am I going? <laughs> Getting stable with your finances, Taurus. You are about your shmoney. You're on it. Either you are working really hard, you've gotten a recent promotion, you got a raise at work, it's coming. There's something with your financial flow that's coming. If there's been a recent death, um, possibly you could be coming into some type of inheritance of some sort. Um, that's a very specific message for a few of you. Um, but also, you are going after this fire sign because you feel... Your dreams are coming true. You want a dream come true type of love and you were not feeling that with the water sign or whoever has water in their chart. You weren't feeling that with the with the person that was just really too emotional. Something about that. Um, okay, let's get some clarification um, time frame wise or, or number wise. I said 999 synchronicities. When is Taurus going to finally come forward with this communication? Why Buffalo Divine 777. How you doing, honey? A week. There's going to be some type of development in a week with your love life. I'm feeling that heavily. Okay? Pay attention. 999 synchronicities. We're going to do one final advice card. This is a brand new deck for me. I love it. I love the artwork on it. This is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. The artwork is phenomenal. Um, the cards kind of stick a little bit. They're really stiff. I'm getting used to them, but I got my book next to me. I'm going to read verbatim from the book. This message is moving forward for future advice with regards to your love life with this third party situation that either you've recently left that's currently going on or the direction that you're wanting to move in with your love life. And again, you could be married and have been married to a water sign and you are exiting the marriage or you have an interest in a fire sign, vice versa, cross watcher, I could be talking to you. There's something third party situation related with this, okay? Or feelings for two people, for sure. Um, what are the messages for September 2019 for Taurus? Love. Okay, those, I can't, there was too many there. Some lyrics. Messages for Taurus moving forward with love in September 2019. What advice do we have? I'm gonna have to split the deck here. I can feel it. I'm not feeling anything popping out, Taurus. They're just too new. No! Wait, here's one. Two. Yeah. Okay, we got two cards. You're needing to work on shifting your perception. We've got the air guardian, and this is in relevance to communication, I feel, okay? We've also got the knight with be brave and honor, or honest, excuse me, be brave and honest. What I tell you about communication here, these two cards are correlating in some fashion. We're gonna go deeper. Let's read the meanings, okay? Uh, All right, Taurus, here we go. The knight. 
Do the right thing, even if it isn't the easiest option. Stand for what you know to be right and true. The knight is a knight of shining armor dedicated to the crown that his sword defends. In this sense, he is a protector of the Holy Grail and therefore your spiritual growth and expansion. He represents the warrior in you. Whether you are male or female, that energy is within you. His sword and armor show he is courageous and strong, but if you look closely, you will see that he has a tear running down his a tear running down his face showing his willingness to be vulnerable and his love for what he protects this has Taurus written all over it okay let's be real air guardian let's look air guardian Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. The Air Guardian card represents the angels of the air element. Traditionally, air is all about thoughts, thinking, and everything that's happening in the mind. So these angels can help you to overcome any thoughts that you have come back to haunt you from the past and to see the world more clearly. They are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations as this could be standing between you and your greatness, vulnerability, being strong, being brave, being honest with your communication towards this person that you really have a love for, and it's gonna happen with your communication and your perception, okay? There you go, Taurus. I'm excited. This is some progress. I felt a very kind of stagnant energy with Taurus lately with your love life. Um, I hope that I was able to provide some type of clarity. Please let me know if this has resonated with any of you. I really, I always try to respond to comments. So um, again, the more views you have, the better you'll get a, a sooner uh, video release next month. I am going to be doing a mid-monthly check-in. Um, bear with me. I'm actually going to be moving and relocating. Uh, it's going to be a new space for me. I got a lot going on these next couple of weeks here. So bear with me. I will get those readings out mid-September. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I post. Thank you so much for all of your love and support, Taurus. Again, I feel connected with my Taurus because I do have some Taurus in my chart and I just absolutely, we're awesome, right? I mean, that's, I mean, come on, right? Okay. I love you guys. Take care. Mwah, all my love. Peace. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Taurus.